Yo guys, welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. Now, um, after that short little break from Ed Rose, we are back with him. Um, this is a very recent video, just uploaded yesterday. Um, it's called I'm Dating an Idiot Moments of Realization. Now, we already had a video about um, relationships. That did pretty well. With a bunch of brain fuck moments once again. Um, so I thought we were going to give um, another chance to this. As always, link to the original videos in the description. Matt is very close to getting 1 million subscribers. So if you want to help him get there, link is in the description. So, um, enough talking. Yo, 1080p is set. All right, here we go. Not someone I was dating, a friend of mine's girlfriend, she turned to him and asked, Are the Olympics, like, a competition? I asked. Let's, let, 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 let's let it finish. Okay, before, before, before you say anything. Earnestly what she thought the Olympics were. She okay. said, I don't know, I thought it was just like, look what these people can do. Now look, we Bro, what did you think it was going to be? Like, people showing off their skills and just moving on. What? The whole concept of, like, gold medals and shit. And world record. What? Look what these people can do. Well, I, we know someone who's not going to compete in the Olympics. You. Jesus. We've done similar things before, yeah? We've studied stupid classmates, stupid co-workers not long ago at all. I feel the need Oh yeah, right, we did that as well, I think. To preface this one by saying, I'm sure these Redditors don't actually think their significant others are stupid. It's just that when you fall in love with someone and start spending all your time with them, little things slide out that you're not expecting. I love my other half with all my heart, yet... Yeah? When we Aww. met, she thought it was Morgan Freeman that played Marty McFly in the Back to the Future films, and then if you shred a bit of paper, what? she thought if you put it back in again, it would all it would all stick back together. She, if you ask her, she probably says, you know, I've done some stupid things. I mean, obviously, I've I've actually never done anything stupid. So of course not. No, Matt. We know. <laughs> Nah, it was nothing stupid. He just did it for the boys. Nah. Watching a wildlife documentary and my girlfriend asked me if bears laid eggs. My husband thought... That is wild. People oh. whistled when they Bruh. set off fireworks. He didn't realize the fireworks themselves whistled. Yo, by that logic, I cannot set off any fireworks for the rest of my life ever again because I just can't whistle. I've tried it. It just doesn't work. She thought Vietnam was a planet in Star Wars. I love my... Damn. ...husband, but I've watched him empty a vacuum cleaner bag into a wire waste basket. Wife sent me screenshots to what? try and show me that her iPhone screen had cracked. I t oi, oi, oi. Well, I guess what's, that's what happens when you don't understand the technology you're using. Told him I liked daffodils, and after a pause, he said, Okay. That's an animal, right? As we were... Uh... I mean... It does sound kind of like... What an animal could call be called like like we have like what's it called a platypus i think daffodil doesn't sound that much different like it gives off a similar vibe i guess that's an animal right but yeah it most certainly is not the road we saw a horse with its head over a gate we slow down okay. she opens the window and says x thought drinking through a straw you know maybe she look maybe she did it on purpose Hey, one time I sh Wait, 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 wait. Down, she opens the window and says, X thought drinking through a straw made him look gay. 
Oh my god, it's one of those alphas, alpha sigma males. Oh my god. What, you haven't been to the gym four times today? Bro, you are a loser. Drinking through a straw makes you look gay. I guess you could make it look gay depending on how much effort you put into it. But just saying... Like, in general, that's stupid. One time I showed my... That's probably one of the reasons why he's the ex. Let's be real. ...wife a David Blaine Netflix special. She asked, uh, and I quote, Now, is this real magic or, or just like magic tricks? He burned ramen noodles on the stove Bruh. because he forgot to put water in the pot. What? Damn. That might be a skill on its own. Twice had a girlfriend who thought... What? Wait, nah, 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 nah. What? Twice had. Bro, I need to take a drink. After that, what the? What the fuck? Doing that once is already crazy, but twice. Like, have you not learned your lesson? The girlfriend who thought that the Magna Carta was the first credit card. Oh god, we were 16 and he... Uh, he absolutely did not believe in the ocean. He said the what? government paid people, say they surfed and things, to convince people the ocean was real. What? She... And how... How the fuck does the government profit from that in any way whatsoever? He tried to argue that we could get to the moon easier if we just built a spaceship that could go underwater and flew it through the ocean to the moon during the daytime rather than straight up. What? Wait, 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 what? We just built a spaceship that could go underwater and flew it through the ocean to the... When he insisted the that kiwis, the animals, were the same as kiwis fruits, he found this photo when just. Uh, uh. Bro, that's not what you're supposed to use your Photoshop skills on, bro. I couldn't believe that it wasn't real. Just, just wow. When she insisted that Kim Jong Un was the leader of North Carolina. When I mentioned I was on my period, <laughs> he asked what my favorite flavor of tampons are. He genuinely thought the colors on the tampon packs were flavors, and that it would soak into my blood while inside, and I'd eventually taste. Ugh. When she. Ugh. Ugh. We're like fucking bear grills in this here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gotta taste our own piss. Mmm. Bruh, that is fucking wild. Ew. He pointed up at a bluish star and sincerely asked, hmm? Is that Earth? What a strange. Surreal Bro, question. I get vertigo what? from even reading that. What? While traveling in the car during Remembrance Day, my ex once asked me to turn the radio up so she could hear the minute silence better. An ex thought that could. That is a brain Herschel fucking half. Recorded live, and the people on TV were employed to do them over and over again. My ex girlfriend told me she had. Oh a flat no! Tire. That's weird. What's weird? Well, it's only flat on the bottom. Preheats the microwave. Oh! I caught her once with a butter knife in the toaster to warm it. Asked him what event result. Yo yo yo, Matt, s slow down a second. Warm it. Asked him what. No! Wait 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 wait. Well, it's only flat on the bottom. Preheats the microwave. Okay. I caught her once with a butter knife in the toaster to warm it. Asked him what. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, there's my thumbnail right there. What the? You sure she didn't want to try to end it instead of warm it? What the fuck? To warm it. Asked him what event resulted in World War One. His response was 9 11. He was serious. She thinks. Bro, this one of the people was like, oh, school failed us. No, bro, you're just a fucking idiot. Thinks that North is always uphill, so prefers to walk south. I introduced him to my stepsister. Ah. He said, weird, you guys look nothing alike. We were driving one day and were stopped. 
Stopped at a red light. Huh. What a dumb name for a street. Huh? What street? Bone Marrow Drive. Who'd name a street Bone Marrow Drive? Yeah, there's a sign for a local Bone Marrow Drive that'll be taking place, not the name of the street. I got into an argument uh. with him and I told him he was being condescending and he told me, why well, I don't know what that means, but I am not being it. Ugh, he was so pretty yet so dumb. I don't know what it means, but I am not being it. How the fuck are you supposed to know if you're not being it if you don't even know the meaning of the fucking word, bro? Ah, people piss me you off sometimes. She asked me if I changed the settings to Spanish because it said "aya" on the dash when the door was open. X now, but once we were talking about changes in taste preferences, when she said "taste bugs," she had thought that "taste buds" was "taste bugs" her entire life up until that moment. Dodged it. Oh. That's awkward, but let's be real. How often do you say taste buds? Probably not too often, right? So the amount of times she made a mockery of herself is probably pretty limited. But I just... It's good that she find out eventually. A dating bullet. He insisted the dog breed is pronounced a German shepherd. Buck of the phone, shepherd, my guy. Shepherd. Hmm. Hmm. German Shepherd. Buck of the phone. Shepherd. Mike. Listen, you're both wrong. It is pronounced Deutscher Schäferhund. Mm hmm. Now you know. Buck of the phone. Shepherd. My girlfriend pronounced placebo. Place bar. This was, um. Place bar. Ah. My reaction? Didn't know what a clitoris was. Called it Fanny Bean. She. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Genuinely, throw Barack Obama's name was Black Obama. We Ra. I mean, your problem. <laughs> you're not. Com you're not completely wrong, but our president, Black Obama. Jeez. Now we gotta be careful what you say here. Like, we're gonna get caught out on something if we. Black Obama. Nice. We were playing a video game and he said, let's go kill those ogres over there. I was like, what? You mean ogres? And he replied, uh, yes, but it's pronounced, I'm an ogre. One time she called oh, Kermit no. the Frog, uh, Hermit the Crab. He quoted Limp Biscuit to me. Oh, I the... Me during an argument. He didn't mean it ironically. For the record, he thought he was mucho cool. Oh, God, I know what the quote was. Yeah. Are you really fucking right? Yeah. It's all about the he says, she said. Bullshit. <laughs> Can you eat peanut butter or... Raw. Or will you go into... Intergalactic shock. Inter... Intergalactic shock. Bro, the entire universe is gonna freeze if you eat that shit. Intergalactic shock. Are you dating a beastie boy? He thought you absorb a gallon of water when you shower, so he didn't need to drink water. You absorb water when you shower. I don't remember human beings being fucking sponges. What the fuck? Water. Were you dating SpongeBob? Posted yeah. this before, but my favorite brain fart moment was when she came into the bathroom crying to tell uh -oh. me she'd just swallowed her wedding ring what? and four other rings. She four other. She, she swallowed five rings. What? She took them off while painting and put them in a shot glass on the counter for safekeeping. The next morning, she went to take her pills, which she also keeps in a shot glass on the counter. On the plus side, any time she asks to go into a jewellery store, I get to a... Oh my fucking... ...ply. Why, are you hungry? He was getting a... What the fuck? I mean, that... 
that's probably in hindsight a, a funny story, but that sounds terrifying. Like you probably have to go to the doctors or something. Or you just poop them out or what? Five rings. Bro, how many rings did you have? What the fuck? Five rings? Who the fuck wears five rings? Crazy. His license renewed and they asked him if he wanted to be an organ donor. He said no. Mm -hmm. When I asked why, he told me it was because he didn't want the government to come knocking for any of his organs when he still needed them. He really thought that becoming an organ donor meant that at any time his organs could be taken. Nothing too dumb. Damn. Um, I have a fan with different settings labelled LMH for how fast the fan spins. You're... Wait, LMH, low, medium, high. Right? Low, medium, high. She was looking okay. at it and told me she set the fan to large. Girl, I was seeing our... La That's the large fan setting. ...potatoes grew on trees like grapes. Grapes don't grow on trees. I leaned into... Where... You're right. You're right. I didn't even care. This just became even worse. Potatoes don't grow on trees, and grapes don't grow on trees. You made it fucking worse. I didn't even know that was possible. Grow on trees. I leaned in to kiss my GF after a couple sex. Mm -hmm. She said, those people are staring at us. I looked over and, yeah, it was our reflection. She was... Is she okay? Was she taking her meds? Or too many? What? Visibly upset, tears and quiet sobs while uh -oh. we were watching District 9. She turns to me and whispers, When did this happen? One of my exes. Um. Was bawling when we watched Cloverfield because she thought it actually happened. She thought the movie The Bro. Martian was not only a true story, but that Matt fucking Damon was actually on Mars back when we were first living. Now that's dedication to the role. Bro went all the way up to Mars to film a movie that barely anyone watches. Together, my husband, BF at the time, decided it was a great idea to get rid of a wasp chilling on our blinds by dousing it in lighter fluid and setting it on fire. Is he okay? That's like... Bro, that sounds like psychopath behavior to me. What the fuck? Like, this only is acceptable by society standards because of this part here, wasp. If you replace it with something else, like, I don't know, cat or dog, all of a sudden you're, like, jail-worthy. But even then, if it's a wasp, it's still crazy, bro. Just get your slippers and bang the shit out of it. Just put a real amount of force in it, and you one-shot that shit. You end it and you pull it out of its misery quickly. Dousing it in lighter fluid and setting it on fire. Chilling, wait, chilling on our blinds. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. When he gorilla glued his wait, you're gonna... You're not even gonna tell how it's gonna continue. I have an idea how it's gonna continue. I don't know if it actually happened. What the fuck? Um... I sure as hell hope he didn't go through with it. Because my god, what the fuck? Fluid and setting it on fire. When he gorilla glued his bathroom door shut to see if he could break it down. Could he do it? He couldn't. We were Okay. Okay. What a fucking moron. Now having a few drinks. Uh, he said his tooth hurt. He just pulled, okay. pulled it straight out of his mouth. Try <clears throat> tooth hurt he just pulled it straight out of his mouth okay like a bit more context please was the tooth already very low loose or did he just like full force snatch that shit out because if you have loose tooth especially if you're like lo losing your like your, your first set of teeth they can just i remember the first Maggots tooth, teeth. Well, you know what I mean. 
first one I lost, I didn't even know it was like loose or something. I came back from kindergarten, I bit into an apple, and all of a sudden there was like a, it was in there. And I just freaked the fuck out, because like, oh my god. What just happened? What did I do? But if it was like full on force in there, and he just ripped that shit out. Ow. Like, I, a couple of years ago, got my, my, my wisdom teeth removed. And like all four of them at the same time. It's like the option was, we either, we're either going to do two and the next time two, or we're just going to do all four at the same time and be done with it. And I was like, yeah, please do all of them. Because I know for a fact, if I go through the pain the first time and I have, now I have to do it a second time, I'm just going to put it off and never do it again. So let's please do all four at the same time. And that shit hurt. Like, obviously, I was under anesthesia. But afterwards, that shit hurt so much. If you're ripping out a tooth that is in their heart and doesn't really want to come out and you rip it out, oh my god, that is pain. Again, I would like some context here. Tried to buy a perpetual motion machine for 200 bucks when he splits open the gas tank on our car, mounting a curb. Well, that's only an accident, and instead of dealing with it, parked the car in a closed parking garage of our apartment building, filmed the gas spewing out, and posted it on TikTok. I Please tell me you broke up with him. Oh my fucking god, imagine someone smoking a cigarette in there or something. What a fucking moron. Like, I genuinely hope for you, you broke up with this motherfucker. What the fuck? That is so... Gas spewing out and posted it on TikTok. I took what my boyfriend the? out for his first far. There was a huge slice of jalapeno that he ate all in one bite. His okay. pizza-based taste buds were not accustomed and he wept over his bowl for a good while. He thought the jalapeno was a cucumber. Uh, I believe the word is taste bugs. Night. <laughs> nice throwback. What is this? A crossover episode? Ten. I mean, to be fair. This probably is the mildest one we had so far. You just ate a whole jalapeno instead of one by one. I think that's the most mild one we had so far. That's like a chuckle story here and there, but that's like nothing. Not like the previous one with the fucking gasoline. A thousand comments deep and nobody will ever see this, but hey. Actually. I see all. Back yeah, 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 I was about to say, look. If Matt wants to find you, he's gonna find you. In the early 1990s, after a spate of highly publicized deaths due to carbon monoxide poisoning, I... Back in the early 1990s, after a spate of highly publicized death due to carbon monoxide poisoning. I bought a CO detector for the bedroom. Oh, after okay. I plugged it in, she told me to move it to the other end of the house because, and I quote, I don't want that thing beeping and waking me up if the alarm goes off. Damn. I see all. I see. I see. I fuck. I see. I fuck. Uh, can't relate. Cannot relate, man. My wife, a medical professional, once asked me why men even have belly buttons. I dated a firefighter who. M a medical professional. Why do you ask that question? You should know the answer yourself. I, I mean, I know the answer. A firefighter who didn't know and I'm not a fucking nurse or something. No alcohol was flammable. Is that an albino? No, 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 no. I dated a firefighter who didn't know alcohol was flammable. How do you become a firefighter if you don't even know that alcohol is flammable? They probably just assumed you knew it. I mean, even if you're not a fire. Bra. Fighter who didn't know alcohol was flammable. Is that an albino duck? That's a dove. Ex-girlfriend, we'd just started dating and she was turning 29 on the 29th of April. Okay. I said, hey, that's funny, 29 on the 29th. She proceeded to ask if that meant she would turn 30 on the 30th. My ex- Bra. 
once claimed that avocados were a kind of fish. That the past was black and white. She asked me if light. The past is black and white, bro. We had something similar with the, the students asking stupid questions. I mean, in all honesty, I thought that the same. I thought the same. I thought the same. The past was also black and white. But I was like, like first or second grade, you know? I wasn't a grown up and still was thinking that. It took me some time to realize it, but I was still very young, you know? I was still early stages of elementary school until I realized it. But in the very, very beginnings, I also thought that the past was black and white. But if you're a grown up and you still believe that, that's. I think that's a little bit problematic. Was alive. They thought Egyptian people were. Well, it's a myth, isn't it? She asked if it was still called in a clip. Ah, what? She asked me. They thought they thought Egyptian people oh, uh, were. Well, it's a myth, isn't it? A myth. Okay. She asked if it was still called an eclipse when the sun passes between Earth and the moon. That's called the apocalypse. I was a vegetarian when we were dating. Pretty early on, he asked if uh, I ate fish. I said, no, I don't eat any animals. To which he replied, a fish isn't an animal, it's a mammal. I ah. I've never seen so many mistakes crammed into one conversation. He grabbed a baby bell cheese wheel and then I heard him say, oh, this is gross. I look over it. Let me guess, he didn't peel it off him to see if it was mouldy or something and i see he's taken a bite out of it with the red wax coating still on my husband is incredible yeah i mean if you're gonna eat it like that what are you gonna expect incredibly smart highly educated a clever man he but he also was eating an entire muffin with the paper on he Ew. I did that on accident, but like one bite, and that's already disgusting. He told me he ate a pine cone once because he was dared to. Bro, are you fucking sit from Ice Age or something? Obviously, I'm not actually going to eat a pine cone. Do it. Do it, Matt. Do it. <laughs> I love. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to do it. Obviously, I'm going to. Yes. Yes, Matt. To do it. I'm joking. I just, I don't really know how to. Ah, uh, uh, I love that. Uh, uh, but you're a real one for doing that. You are a legend. Man, more than anything, he sent me a text that simply said, "I loathe you." When I got defensive Yo. and upset, he was terribly confused. He thought "loathe" means to really love someone. Such a sweet dumbass. I Man, that could have gone way worse. That could have ended everything. That could have ended your relationship. It's good it didn't escalate that I much. I my girlfriend to the moon and back, but she thought if she got a tattoo, her baby would come out with that same tattoo in the same spot she got it. Every time he grew Yeah. It scares me that we share the earth of people like that sometimes. Grab something out of the oven without a mitten. Oh, but he's my idiot. Analog heart emoji. My girlfriend thought leg day was a national holiday. A holiday? Nah, that's not a day for celebration. That's a day to mourn and cry. <laughs> national holiday. About to propose to her, actually. Reddit her safety otter knew their partner was an idiot when I asked her to marry me, and she said yes. Eh, uh, you see? What? In most cases, true love comes out on top, especially as I said at the start. You're not always necessarily the most intelligent one in a relationship. Ha, I used to wear clothes of many colours until my parents died when I was nine and I started to wear only black. Me. Oh, like Batman. On rare occasions, Bro. no tra <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that is good. Yo. I like that reply. Tragically, it can cause relationships to drift apart. He talked about minions too much. Right, of all the things in the world that you could have possibly talked about, 
much. Spam me with Minions content, redirect every single conversation to be about Minions. After having a particularly bad day, I posted a sincere Facebook post about oh my it God. as a means to reach out to some loved ones, and he responded with simply Minions. Okay, maybe maybe he wanted out of the relationship and did it on purpose. I want to believe he was that far aware and just did it on purpose. Even then, that makes him a bit of a dick. Oh boy. So, half an hour of craziness. That was a good video. Matt Rose, as always, delivered once again. Like I said, he is getting close to 1 million. Um, if you want to support him, subscribe to his channel and watch his videos. He really does amazing content. Um, if you have suggestions for other videos, let me know. I always welcome those. Still have a couple, but I'm going to run out eventually, you know. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope I will see you in the next video or during one of my live streams. Until then, take care. Bye.